Hi everybody, in today's video tutorial, we're gonna show you how to make this crown pattern. This is a pattern that you can put on any little amigurumi toy. This is our free octopus pattern available at Rabbitry and Yarns. And we'll get started showing you exactly the materials you need, and we'll go through the process of creating this crown. The materials you will need to make this crown we have the wool of the Andes Worsted Weight in creme brulee. You won't need too much of this, so you will have quite a bit left over. We have our Westcott Titanium Scissors, our crafting scissors. We have our Knit Picks Yarn Bowl. We have a stitch marker. You can use this. It's optional. And then we have our size G plus 4.5 millimeter Furls Crochet Hook. For this pattern, we're going to start out with a slip knot. Put that on your hook. Now you're going to chain 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Take this. And at the very back loop of the first chain, use a slip stitch, and that'll join this into a loop. That's the end of round one. For round two, you're going to put 15 single crochets in this. So you're going to go through the very center of the crown and put in 15 single crochets. So that's the first one. And now we need to do 14 more. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, and the final one, 15. So we'll straighten that out a little bit. If some of the stitches get a little bunched up towards the end, you can always just slide them on down a little bit. That's okay. Even it out just a little here. We've reached the beginning of the stitch marker here. And when you turn this, you can see all of your stitches. You're going to work in that first stitch. Put in one single crochet in each of these stitches. So you're going to have a total of 15 single crochet. This is your next round. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, almost done, fourteen. And you're back at the beginning. This is your final 15th single crochet. Next, in this very first stitch, you're going to put quite a few stitches in here. Take out your stitch marker. And you're going to start out in that first stitch. Put the following stitches all in this same stitch. Single crochet, 
half double crochet, chain two, slip stitch in the second chain from the hook. This adds the point of your crown. Now put another half double crochet in that bottom stitch again that you were working in before and put a single final single crochet in that very same stitch. Next, skip that next stitch. Move on to the next one after that. Put a slip stitch in. You're going to repeat that pattern all through until you have five points of this crown made and you end up at the beginning. So moving on to the next stitch, let's repeat that pattern. Single crochet, half double crochet, chain two, slip stitch in the second chain from the hook, half double crochet in that same bottom stitch that you were working in, and a single crochet in that same stitch that you were working in. Skip the next stitch, move on to the stitch after that, and put a slip stitch to join. Go to your next stitch, repeat that pattern. Single crochet, half double crochet, chain two, slip stitch in the second chain from your hook, half double crochet down into that bottom stitch, and then single crochet to complete that point. Skip the stitch, move on to the stitch after that, Put in that slip stitch to join the base of that point down. Next stitch, repeat the process. You have that single crochet, half double crochet, and then you're going to chain two, single crochet in the second chain from the hook, half double crochet in that bottom stitch that you're working in, and then single crochet in that bottom stitch. Skip the next stitch. Move on to the stitch after that. Slip stitch to put that base of that point down. Next stitch, single crochet, half double crochet, chain two. Slip stitch in the second chain from the hook. Sometimes if your chains are tight, it can be a little fiddly. Half double crochet to that bottom stitch we're working in. Single crochet. Skip the next stitch. Slip stitch to join. And you have created the crown. One of the things you can do is this little bottom piece that's left this piece of yarn in the inside. Just tie it up. Weave it in in the inside of your crown. So there we are, we've made the crown. This is absolutely perfect for this little octopus. Thanks for watching.